Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm making liver pate. Now, I got some of the ideas for this recipe from Simple French Paleo. This is a great cookbook, I like it a lot. I got the idea to put sweet potato and apple in my pate from here, although pretty much everything else is I do differently. <laughs> um, but I was inspired by this, and I recommend this book. It's a good one. All right, to start my pate, I'm gonna add one third of a cup of coconut oil to the pan. It weighs 70 grams. If you'd rather weigh your food and measure it in a little cup. Okay, now our coconut oil is mostly melted. This is refined coconut oil, by the way. Now I'm gonna add in my liver. I have not trimmed it yet. I'm gonna do that later. Although this brand that I buy is pretty well trimmed to begin with. But there's always a few little pieces you wanna cut off. So as you can see, the liver is getting brown. It's still a little bloody on the inside, but that's okay because you don't want to overcook it. This is actually a perfect time to take this out. And I'm just going to set it aside on a plate and let it cool just enough so that we can handle it. Now, a lot of recipes will tell you to do this part while it's still raw, but I find it nearly impossible to get this um, this stuff, this saran wrap like, let me show you. It's really easy to peel off once you lightly cook the liver. I find it really tough to remove when the liver is raw. So I lightly cook it first, set it aside, let it cool, and then we're gonna get rid of all those icky bits. Keep this, do not throw these away. This is gonna add a ton of flavor. And while we're cooling off this liver, I'm just gonna prep the rest of the ingredients for the pate. So I'm going to want two tablespoons of lemon juice. So this is two tablespoons. I'm just going to add it right here to the pan. The, whoops. Minus the seeds. <laughs> and we're going to add one chopped apple. And I'm not going to even peel it. This is an organic apple, of course. and add that to the coconut oil in the pan. Then we're gonna want to add three quarters of a cup of chopped sweet potato to the pan. You can use white sweet potato too. I like the sweet sweet potato in this one. And then last but not least, we need some onion. This is a half a cup we're gonna use. Just chop that up. And then we're gonna cook these in the coconut oil till they're soft, so about 10 minutes. Um, I'll stir it on medium high and turn it down if I need to. Now our liver is cool enough to handle, so we're just gonna, usually all the yicky parts end up on the edges here. This is a really well trimmed piece, but usually even the best trimmed ones will have this, you just kind of look for the, uh, an in here. Once you get it, of course, this one's gonna give me trouble. There we go, see? And then it peels right off. I mean, if you blend it well enough, if you have a good Nutribullet that's not refurbished or anything like mine, um, this will just get obliterated right into it and you'll never even know it's there, but I personally need to have a super smooth liver pate or I just can't even, can't even eat it. So I found this long veiny thing on the inside. I'm just gonna get it out of there. This can get messy. <laughs> Here it is. See, this is just this thing running through. Blech. So yeah, this is a rubbery bit. This is a very rubbery bit that is not going in my pate. And this takes just enough time that by the time you're done doing this, your apples and sweet potato and onions and all are gonna be done cooking. And uh, so it works out perfectly. So let's check on our apple, sweet potato, and onion. They're nice and they're soft. They could be softer though. I'll give it another minute or two. Now, we have a few minutes to go here, but now I'm gonna add in two cloves of chopped garlic. And more is fine. Let's go for three. One teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan pig salt. You can use any kind of salt. We're gonna put my favorite seasoning blend in here. This is Herbs de Provence. If you wanna know how to make this, you use equal parts, parsley, marjoram, tarragon, and basil. And then you throw in lesser parts of thyme, 
and culinary lavender. I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons. I also use this Herbs de Provence blend in my venison stew and in my hidden liver beef scramble. I love it. Now we're going to add the liver back to here and just cook it for another minute. Basically to get all those flavors melded. And if you're having a lot of trouble with this sticking, you can add a touch of coconut milk. Only one more thing we're going to add to this. Actually, two more. This is fresh turmeric root. I'm going to use two whole roots because we're going to be blending this all together. I'm just going to coarsely chop this. Kind of looks like carrot. <laughs> and the last thing I'm going to add right before I blend it, after I've stopped cooking, is some fresh chives. I keep these in a cup of water on the windowsill and then when I'm ready to use them, I just go like this. They grow back. So in two weeks, these will be ready to use again, or a week or something. So now we have the liver pate all cooked and ready to blend. That's the last step is blending it. Now I process this in relatively small batches because I mean if you fill this more than halfway it keeps getting stuck because I got mine refurbished probably. <laughs> anyway, that just looks like it would be good. I mean look at this mix. I almost feel like you could just eat it like that over some like batatas, hash brown batatas and call it a day. But this really helps the flavors melt. And it's just yummy out of a little jar as a snack I mean, with some apple bits or some celery. Here we go. It's better to puree this too much than to not puree it, per puree it enough. You want a silky, smooth, smooth texture. Make sure that that thing is... I love these little four ounce mason jars for my pate. I stopped making pate so much because it's a little more labor intensive than the hidden liver beef scramble, so I've cut, that's been my go-to lately. But I do love this pate and I often double it when I make it. I've tried a lot of pate recipes and I did not enjoy them. Um, so a lot of the recipes use bacon. I try to use very sparing amounts of bacon just because of the omega-6 fatty acid profile and all, but I guess it would make it a lot more palatable. So the spatch made eight servings. So we're gonna have two ounces of liver per serving. Eat a couple of these a week. You'll be, you'll be getting your organ meats in. Serving suggestions. Um, this is just so good with just apple slices or celery sticks. I actually eat it with a spoon as a snack. Plantain chips, oh my goodness. It's also a good AIP breakfast. Let me know how you like this if you try it. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, suggestions, any little, um, tweaks you made to the recipe to make it your own and I hope you enjoyed this video if you if <laughs> I hope you found this video useful and if so subscribe below because I put new videos out every Thursday sometimes bonuses on Sunday I hope to see you soon and until then be healthy